Perfect. All right. Good morning, everybody. Uh, thanks for showing up on your mats this morning to practice. I know that it's not always easy to make that effort, um, especially when it's not in person. So I thank you for joining me. Uh, I'm at Big Bay Park in Whitefish Bay, um, and I'll be practicing along with you this morning too. So we're gonna be working a lot on our back body, strengthening our back body, um, the, which helps protect our lower back and our spine, and is also part of our core. We often just think of our core as like our belly region, our abdomen. Um, but our core extends far beyond that. So we're going to work on the, the back area of our core today. So let's go ahead and get started on our backs. So go ahead and find a comfortable position lying down. And you can either bend the knees and keep the feet planted on the mat. Or you can extend the legs long and take up space. And then just decide where you want to bring your arms, your hands, uh, maybe bringing one hand to your belly and one hand to your heart. Uh, or just let the arms come long by your side, palms up or down, whatever feels comfortable for you. And then as you settle into your space, just start to notice your breath. Without any judgments, just noticing the inhale and the exhale. And keeping that awareness with your breath, see if you can lengthen each inhale and each exhale. And if you haven't done so already, I invite you to close your eyes. And I actually invite you to close your eyes at any point during your practice. It's really helpful to, for our focus to turn our attention inward, but also is a test of our balance, too. So with your eyes closed, just noticing the rise and fall of the belly with each inhale and each exhale. Let's stay here for 10 rounds of breath. And I invite you during this time, this 10 rounds of inhales and exhales, if you want to set any intentions for your practice, to offer up those intentions now with the idea of maybe coming back to that intention at some point or points along the way during your practice. once you've reached those 10 rounds of breath and no rush to get there don't feel like you have to quick like quick inhale and exhale just stick with it nice and steady until you're ready and when you are ready we'll start to walk the feet in towards your seat feet planted on the mat walking your heels in and then slightly tucking the shoulder blades under we're going to take some bridge some bridge pose here as we press into the heels and lift the hips towards the sky or ceiling depending on where you're practicing and then exhale slowly release the hips back to your mat good inhale let's lift them back up exhale lower back down and i'm keeping my chin uh, or my gaze straight up here so that I'm not moving my head from side to side, slightly tucking my chin in towards my chest. And see with each inhale as you lift the hips, if you can lift them just a little bit higher. Exhale to lower. Good, one more inhale to lift. Exhale to lower, good. We're gonna do that again, but now let's add in the arms here. So we're gonna flow the arms overhead. As we inhale, press into the heels, lift the hips, and then arms reach behind you, 
palms face up. Exhale, lower everything back down. Inhale to lift. Exhale, lower. Good. Take about eight more rounds. It doesn't really matter the number, just whatever feels good. Move at your own pace. Just starting to warm up the lower body, warm up our core, our spine. Get our blood flowing. Good. And whenever you have finished, go ahead and take one knee into the chest, followed by the other. Wrap the arms around the legs and just rock a little bit from side to side. Good. Take the hands now. Place them behind the legs. And we're going to rock forward and back massaging the length of the spine and then we'll cross the ankles and make our way up to a tabletop position good in your tabletop position spread the fingers nice and wide press equally into all four corners of the hands good lengthen through the sides of the neck gaze is down and then engage at the tops of the feet by press them, pressing them into the mat Good, let's lower the belly on the inhale, finding cow pose. Good, and then let's, in, let's take the exhale and take the gaze inward for cat. Good, inhales, cow. Exhales, cat. Inhale. Exhale. Good, two more times, inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Good. Come back to that neutral tabletop position. Let's go ahead and extend that right arm in front of you, palm facing in. And opposite leg, left leg extends towards the back of the mat. I'm trying to square my hips so they're facing towards the mat. I'm Flexing my back foot, toes pointing down. Good. Now take the elbow towards the knee and take the gaze inward on the exhale. And then we'll inhale to lengthen it back out. Good. Exhale to round. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale round. Inhale lengthen. Exhale round. Inhale lengthen. Keep the leg lifted, but lower the hand to the mat. Bend the left knee and flex the foot. And we're going to pulse up and down for 10, 9, 8, 7. Really engage the glute here in the back of the hamstring. 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Good. Go ahead and release that knee back to the mat. Take two rounds of cat and cow and rinse that out. Good. And then we'll set up for the other side. This time reaching the left hand forward, palm facing in. Right leg extends back. Toes pointing down. Hips are square. And press into the top of that left foot. Good. Let's take the elbow towards the knee. On the exhale, inhale to lengthen. Exhale round. Inhale lengthen. Exhale round. Inhale lengthen. One more time. Exhale. Inhale, good. Lower the hand, keep the leg lifted. Bend the knee, flex the foot, and then pulse up and down here. So we're engaging that right glute. We're engaging the right hamstring for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Bring the knee back to the mat. Bring the knees wide to the edges of the mat. And let's just take a quick child's pose, walking the hands forward and resting the forehead. If you want a little more stretch here in the shoulders in your child's pose, you can take puppy pose. So puppy pose is going to be lifting the hips just slightly off your seat and then walking the hands even further forward and then resting the forehead. Good. Next, inhale. Walk the hands back in. Take the knees back under the hips. And then we'll tuck the toes and lift the hips, coming to your first downward-facing dog. 
Good. Let's pedal the feet here. If you're having any soreness or tightness in the backs of the legs, just pedaling and bending the knees can help kind of stretch out any of that tightness in the back of the legs. Good. And then making your way to stillness when you're ready. Same idea here, pressing into all four corners of the hands. I'm lifting my hips as high as it feels comfortable to start. And I'm trying to melt my chest towards the, the tops of my thighs. Good. Take the gaze between the feet to the outer edge of the back of the mat. Good. Take three breaths here. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Last time. Inhale. And exhale it out. Good. Next inhale. Come high onto the toes. Get a nice stretch or even a crack. And then shift the weight forward to plank. Now, option here is always to lower the knees. And that, you have that option throughout the entire duration of our practice. Good. So plank pose, toes or knees, holding here as we just warm up the core. Now, in our plank position, because we'll be taking this position a lot today, make sure you're utilizing the entire length of the body. Your butt isn't up in the air. Good. Your shoulders are over your wrist. And you're pressing your heel, heels towards the back of the mat. Good. Now, when you're ready, we're going to lower. So you want to lower the knees, you can. Hug the elbows towards the ribs and lower all the way down to your belly. The grass here is so long. <laughs> Good. Let's rest the chin here, hands under shoulders. And then on the inhale, let's lift baby cobra. Now, we're going to be doing a lot of back bends like this today, strengthening our back. Good. Squeeze the shoulder blades towards one another. And then exhale, release it down. Good. Inhale, let's do that again. Lift to cobra. And then exhale it down. Good. One more time. This time, inhale to cobra and float the hands just about an inch or so off the mat. Good. Really pressing the pelvis into the mat, pressing the tops of the feet into the mat, and continuing to breathe. Exhale. Release it down. Walk the hands back just a little bit here towards the ribs, towards your rib cage. Good. Press into the tops of the feet. Press into the hands and come to up dog. So lifting the thighs off the mat, engaging the kneecaps. Good. Now tuck the toes. Lift the hips. Downward facing dog. Good. Let's roll forward to plank. And then back to down dog. Let's do that a couple more times. Roll forward to plank. Hold here. Good. Back to down dog. Last time. Rolling forward to plank. And then back to down dog. Bend the knees. Take the gaze forward and walk the feet to the front of the mat. Coming to rag dog. So clasping elbows here. Placing the thumbs into the elbow creases. And just a gentle, gentle rock from side to side. Good. Shake the head yes or no if you're feeling any tension. If you're feeling a lot of tension in the neck, I like to also take my hands and clasp them behind my neck, just right at the base of my head, and then bring the elbows in towards one another. Good. Exhale. Release the hands towards the mat. Heel toe the feet so they're almost touching. Inhales come to half lift. Exhale to so fold. Inhale, root to rise. Come all the way up to standing. Arms reach overhead. Take the gaze up. Good. And then exhale the hands to touch at heart center. Standing at attention here. Lifting up through the spine, through the crown of the head. And just close the eyes for a moment and just take a moment to stand a little taller. Lift through the front of the thighs. Lift the kneecaps. And maybe come back to that intention that you set at the start of your practice. Good. Next exhale, let's lower the hands by your side. Open the eyes if they're not already. Inhale, arms lift overhead. Take the gaze up. Little back bend here. So we're 
pulling our stomach in to protect the lower back. Think about pulling navel towards spine. Good, little bend. Good, and then exhale, swan dive, forward fold. Inhales, half lift. Exhales to fold. Inhale, come all the way back up. Arms reach overhead. Good, this time cactus the arms out to the side. Lift the chest, little back bend here. Good, inhale, arms lift. And then exhale, swan dive, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhales, plant hands, step back. Top of a push up here, plank pose. Good, shift the weight forward, hug the elbows to the ribs, and then inhales, up dog or cobra. Good, exhales, downward facing dog. That's gonna be our variation of our sun style A here, having that back bend as a little addition, but if that doesn't feel good for you today, feel free to skip it. Good, let's come to the balls of the feet, take the gaze forward, walk or float the feet forward, fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, root to rise. Arms reach overhead. Good, couple of variations. Either take the back bend here with hands together, or you can cactus the arms and lift the chest. So whatever feels best for you. Inhale to lift. Exhale, swan dive forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, plant hands. Step or float the feet back. If you do float the feet, make sure elbows are bent. Protect the joint. Inhales, up dog or cobra, and then exhales, downward facing dog. Let's flow that again. Come to the balls of the feet, walk or float the feet, forward fold. Inhales to lift. Exhales, fold. Inhale, Tadasana, extended mountain pose. Little back bend of choice, and maybe you're making it a little bit deeper as we go. Inhale to lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhales, plant the hands, step or float it back, lower chaturanga. Inhales, up dog or cobra, and exhales, downward facing dog. Good, let's flow that three more times. I'm gonna have you move at your own pace. Remembering to move and breathe, trying to match your breath to the movement. And if you'd like to add anything in or take anything out, Feel free to do so. Good. Move at your own pace. Don't worry about my pace. Maybe this is an opportunity too to close your eyes as you move through one of your sun style A. And notice what that feels like. For me, it feels really wobbly because the ground beneath me right now is not flat. So when I close my eyes, I have to really test my balance. I feel like that's a metaphor for life. <laughs> it's never flat, never really easy, but you have to adjust to make it work. Inhales, exhales. Good, and whenever you have finished that third round, meet back in down dog, or if you want to take another one, feel free. Good, in down dog, when you're ready, when you get there, take three breaths. Full inhales, full exhales. Beautiful. We're going to transition to our version of Sun Sal B today, which is going to work a lot on strengthening the back. So let's inhale. Take that right leg into the sky. Now, square the hips so that they are facing towards the mat and you're not opening up the hip. And see if you can just lift the leg a little higher. Let's pulse that leg up and down for five, four, three, two, and one, good, bring the knee towards the nose, shift the weight forward to plank. Inhale to lift it back up. Exhale to round knee to nose. Inhale to lift. Exhale knee to nose. This time, step it through. And we're gonna lower the back knee 
and then bring the arms overhead, coming into a low lunge. Good, sink into that low lunge, getting a hip opener here. Then exhale, lower the hands. We're gonna pop the toes here, coming onto the heel, and come to a half split or a hamstring stretch. If you're feeling rather flexible already, you're welcome to take the full split. I'm not there yet. <laughs> Good, keep breathing here. Good, exhale, bend through that right knee. Plant the hands, tuck the back toes, lift the back knee, and we'll step it back. Take your vinyasa, take the variation that works. You can even float that right leg. And then exhale to downward facing dog when you're ready. So many ants on my mat today. Good, let's inhale, do the other side, left leg lifts. Good, same idea here. Flex, or square the hips rather, towards the mat. Flex the foot, toes point down, and then we'll pulse, lifting that leg. Five, four, three, two, one. Good, knee to nose. Inhale, lift. Knee to nose. Inhale, lift it high. Good, knee to nose. Step it through. Lower the back knee and rise. Low lunge. Good, sinking into the hips. Arms reaching overhead. Good, exhale. Lower the hands. Take your vinyasa, flow through it there. Good, and meeting back in downward facing dog when you're ready. Beautiful, let's take that right leg back into the sky for pulse, five, four, three, two, one. Knee to nose, inhale, lift. Knee to nose, inhale, lift. Last time, knee to nose, step it through. Find your center here, squeeze the inner thighs towards one another, and rise, crescent lunge. Good, arms reaching overhead. Back heel is pressing towards the back of the mat. Hips are square towards the front of the mat. Good, we're gonna cactus and dip here. So we're gonna cactus the arms and dip the knee. Inhale up. As you cactus the arms, think about squeezing the shoulder blades together to work the back body. Two more. Last one. Good, exhale, plant the hands. Step it back, take your vinyasa if you'd like. Otherwise, you can skip it, you can hold plank, or come straight to downward facing dog. Good, meeting in down dog when you're ready. And we'll set up for the other side. Left leg lifts. Good, pulse five, four, three, two, one. Knee to nose. Inhale high. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale high. Knee to nose, step it through. Find your center, find your balance, and rise, crescent lunge. Good. From here, same idea. Five times, we'll cactus the arms and dip the knee. Remembering to squeeze the shoulder blades together. Strengthening the upper back, strengthening our legs. Good, I've got one more. Good, and then when you're ready, plant the hands, step it back, take a vinyasa if you'd like. Inhales, back to downward dog on the exhales. Good, inhale here. Exhale, let it go. Good, we're gonna continue to add on to that sequence as we go. So let's take the right leg into the sky for five, four, three, two, one, knee to nose. Knee to nose, knee to nose. Last time, step it through, rise, crescent lunge. We're gonna just do the dips three times here. Cactus and lower. One more time. Good, lower the back heel and come to warrior one. 
So outer edge of that back foot is spiraling down towards the mat. I don't necessarily need to square my hips to the front, but I am trying to invite that left shoulder forward, right shoulder back. Good, from here, hover the torso over that front thigh. Good, reaching the arms forward. Now we're gonna cactus and pull the arms back. Good, inhale to extend. Exhale to cactus. Inhale, extend. Exhale to cactus. Inhale, extend. And then exhale, lower the hands. Take your flow here. Inhaling and exhaling. Good. Set up for the other side here. Inhale to lift that left leg. For five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Knee to nose on the exhale. Inhale to lift. Good. Last time, step it through. Find your center. Rise, crescent lunge. Good. We're going to cap this and dip here three times. Lifting and lowering. Inhaling and exhaling. Good. Off to the last one. Reach the arms. Up. Lower the back heel first. Warrior one. Getting ahead of myself. Good. Outer edge of that back foot is spiraling down towards the mat. Arms reach overhead. Good. Hover the torso over that front thigh. And then we'll cactus the arms back, squeezing the shoulder blades together. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to cactus. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, cactus. Inhale, lengthen. Then exhale, lower the hands, frame the foot, step it back, take your flow, and exhales to downward facing dog. Beautiful, inhale here, open mouth, let it go. Good, inhale, right leg lifts for five, four, three, two, one, knee to nose. Good, third one, and then step it through. Rise, crescent lunge. Good, cactus and dip the knee. Lifting on the inhale, Excellent. exhaling when you lower. Third time, good, come to warrior one. Good, from warrior one, hover the torso over that front thigh. Cactus the arms on the exhale. Inhale to lengthen, exhale cactus. Inhale, lengthen. One more time. Inhale, lengthen. Good. From here, we're going to come to warrior three. So I'm going to take my hands to heart center, but you're welcome to extend them forward too. So kick off that back foot. Find your balance. Trying to square the hips towards the mat. Flexing that back foot, toes pointing down. Good. If you can lift up a little higher, through that supporting leg, it'll help you with balance. Good, from here, we're gonna pulse that back leg up and down, just little movements. Five, four, three, two, one, good. Find the earth behind you, come back to warrior one. Good, open up, warrior two. Good, warrior two here. Outer edge of that back foot is spiraling down towards the mat. I've got a nice bend in my right knee. My knee is lined up either over my ankle or slightly behind. You just don't want it forward of the ankle or ahead of the ankle. Good, relax the shoulders down. Arms spread nice and wide. Take the gaze over those right fingertips. Good, can you sink a little bit deeper? Good, from here, flip the right palm, reverse your warrior. Good, back arm can reach gently for that back leg, or it can wrap around the waist. Just still continuing to keep that bend for the right knee. Good, breathing into that right side body. Good, come back to warrior two. Straighten through your right leg. Reach the right hand forward, tip at the hips, and come to triangle pose. So that's a triangle pose here. We're trying to stack the hips as much as we can and open up that left shoulder so it's not caving in. 
Now, if you find that it is caving in, walk that right hand up the leg, that right leg just a little more. Good, taking the variation that works for you. And then gaze can go wherever you'd like. You can take it up towards that top hand, or maybe down towards that bottom hand. Maybe you try both. Good, exhale, lower that left hand. Come back to your low lunge here. And I'm gonna come to a, a standing split. So kick that left leg off of the mat. Good, and we're gonna do that same pulse. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good, and now we're gonna take three Shiva squats. So we're gonna tap the left knee behind the right calf. Inhale to lift. Exhale to lower. Inhale to lift. Exhale to lower. Good. Inhale, lift it up. Bend through the supporting leg. Find the earth behind you. Come back to warrior one. Take a breath here. And then exhale. Plant the hands. Step it back. Take your vinyasa if you'd like. Inhaling and exhaling as we get ready to set up for the other side. When you're ready, next inhale, left leg lifts. And we're pulsing for five, four, three, two, one. Knee to nose. Inhale to lift. Exhale as you bring the knee forward. Good, third one, step it through and rise, crescent lunge. Good, strong crescent lunge, squeezing the inner thighs towards one another. Let's cactus and dip. Still keeping that squeeze between the shoulder blades. Good, last one, come to warrior one. Lowering the back heel. Good, hover the torso over that front thigh, lengthen through the neck, lengthen through the arms, and then cactus back. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to cactus, You're probably feeling some burning and shaking in that left leg. You know I am. Good, inhale back to warrior one. Good, when you're ready, we're gonna come to warrior three. So remember the options here for your arms. Good, extend the arms forward, kick off that back leg. I'm gonna take my hands to heart center and then we're gonna pulse for five, Four, three, two, and one. Good. Find the earth behind you. Coming back to warrior one. Good. Now we'll open up warrior two. Good. So same idea with that front knee. Check your positioning here. Make sure the knee's not caving in, but opening up. Relax the shoulders. Take the gaze over those left fingertips. Good. Let's reverse our warrior. Good, so keep that bend in the left knee. Good, come back to warrior two, and we'll set up for triangle pose on this side. Reach the left hand towards the front of the mat, tip the hips, stacking hips, stacking shoulders. Now I get to see that beautiful view of the lake. And hopefully you can all see it at home too. Good, lower the right hand. Bring the hands around to frame that front foot. Good, coming to your low lunge. From your low lunge, we'll come to that standing split. So lifting that right leg into the sky, and then we're gonna pulse for five, four, three, two, and one. Good, Shiva squat. Right knee to the back of that left calf. Inhale to lift, <coughs> exhale to lower. Inhale, lift, exhale, lower, inhale, lift, good, bend through the supporting leg, find the earth behind you, coming back to your warrior one for just a moment, big inhale here, and then exhale, lower the hands, frame the foot, step it back, high plank, good, hold plank. Good, breathe, keep breathing here. 
Use the whole length of the body. Good. We're going to take our right knee to the right elbow and then step it back. Left side, step it back. Good. Moving from side to side here. Keep breathing. Good. One more each side. Good. And then exhales back to downward facing dog. <sighs> Let out a sigh. <sighs> Do a big inhale. And then let it go. Good. Shift the weight forward, coming onto the balls of the feet, making your way back to plank. Good. And then lower. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good. We're going to set up for some back bends here and doing some core work on our bellies. So let's start with just doing the legs. We're going to take our palms, stack the, our hands, stack them on top of one another, and then just rest the chin or the forehead on the tops of the hands. Good. Now take the heels, turn the feet out, and touch the heels together. Good, lift just the legs off the mat, and then we're gonna tap the heels together here. So we're working the back body, but the lower half of the back body. Good, let's do 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, rest the forehead for a moment. Good. Take the arms, extend them long, probably off of the mat. And we're just going to do the upper body now. So lift the thumbs, lift the arms, lift the head, and then cactus and squeeze the shoulder blades together. Inhale forward, exhale back. Good. Let's do this 10 times. Inhaling and exhaling. If you need to take a little break in between, no biggie. Just come back. Good, keep breathing. Hopefully you're counting. Good, and whenever you finish that last one, take the arms long by your side and rest the right cheek to the mat or to the ground. Let everything go. And just enjoy that sensation of a little bit of rest after a lot of work. Good. We're not, we're not out of the woods yet. Still got a little bit of work to do. So we're going to take the chin back to the mat. Take the arms long. Thumbs pointing up towards the ceiling or sky. Take the heels and bring them together, toes pointing out. Now, we're gonna lift the whole body as much as you can. Tap the heels, and let's see if you can do the arms at the same time. This is kind of like that thing where you're tapping your head and rubbing your belly. <laughs> we're testing our mental fortitude as well. Good, keep breathing. Let's do five more. <sighs> Good. Whenever you finish that last one, take the arms long and bring the left cheek to the mat. Looking over to the right. Let everything go. Maybe you windshield wiper the legs from side to side. Good. And it wouldn't be back work if we didn't take bow pose. So let's set up for that. Let's take the chin or the forehead to the mat. Knees are bent. Reach around for the tops of the feet one at a time. And when you're ready, press the feet into the hands and then lift everything off the mat. Good. Continue to breathe here. Maybe you lift a little higher. Gaze is forward, but you're not cranking your head up. Maybe a little movement. Rolling, 
forward and backward. Good, and then exhale, let it go. Right cheek to the mat. Maybe windshield wiper, those legs from side to side. Good. Let's go ahead. Take the hands under the shoulders. Tuck the toes. And you can either push up through plank or through tabletop. Your choice. Good. Holding plank here for just a couple moments. Keep breathing. Good. Now exhale it back. Downward facing dog. That probably feels pretty good. Good, inhale here, exhale, let it go. Good, take the gaze forward, walk the feet to the front of the mat and just make your way onto your seat. Good, we're gonna open up the hips here. So I'm gonna face you and we're gonna try to stack the knees on top of one another. And if that doesn't work for you, you can just simply take that one calf in front of the other. Good, so just trying to stack them as much as you can, sitting up tall through the spine. So I have my right leg crossed over my left. So I'm gonna take the opposite leg into the sky, my left arm, and I'm taking my right arm behind, and I'm gonna see if I can find a clasp of my fingers here. And you can always use your shirt here to hold on to it, um, or a towel or anything that you have close by. And we're starting here by lifting through the chest first. Good. Now let's go ahead and start to bow forward. So we're getting into the hips, but also getting into the shoulders and the upper back. Uh, next, inhale, start to rise up through the torso and let go of the clasp of the hands. Just simply roll out the shoulders, rolling them towards the back of your space and then forward towards the front of your space. Good, and then one last time, up and back. Plant the hands behind you, fingers pointing towards the front, and then just simply switch the cross of the legs as we set up for the other side. So my left leg is on top this time. So my right arm reaches for the sky. Left arm comes behind and then trying to find that clasp or grabbing onto your shirt here, find a little traction or a towel. Good, lift through the heart, lift through the chest. And then when you're ready, we'll start to melt the chest forward. Only coming down as far as it feels comfortable. If you're starting to feel any pain, that's the signal to back off because you don't want to feel pain here. That's not the idea. You might feel like it's hard and that's okay. And learning to tell the difference takes time too. Good. Keep breathing here. Breathe into the stretch. See if that breath can just ease any tension, find some softness. Good, inhale, let's lift back up through the torso, unclasp those arms, ah, that feels good. Good, let's roll those shoulders forward this time to start. Two more times, and then roll them back. two more times beautiful let's go ahead and extend the legs uncross the legs extend them long in front of you we're going to make our way onto our backs here in a moment so let's bring the hands out in front of you and go ahead and start to pull the belly button towards the spine and then we're going to lower all the way to our backs to the count of 10 using our core strength Remembering that's not just about the abdominal muscles, it's also about the back muscles. 
good. I like to flex my feet here. Nice and slow, moving as slowly as you can. Good, before coming all the way down with the shoulder blades and the head. Beautiful, just take a nice breath here and then exhale, let it go. Good, we, we're gonna come full circle here. Uh, we're gonna come back to bridge pose. So let's go ahead and walk the heels in towards your seat. We're gonna do a few different variations of bridge and I'll give lots of options along the way. As we get set up, let's go ahead and tuck the shoulder blades under just slightly. Good, push into the heels and lift the hips. So we're just gonna start here with a simple bridge pose but we're gonna pulse the knees towards one another. So let's do that for 10, nine, eight, and we're pretend like you're squeezing a block between the legs. Five, four, three, two, and one. Exhale, lower the hips back to the mat. Good, you can windshield wiper the knees from side to side if you'd like. Otherwise, just staying right there. Good, I'm gonna walk my heels in just a little more. Good, and then on the inhale, I'm gonna lift the hips back to the sky, tucking my shoulder blades under a little more. Keep the head nice and still so you're, you're not trying to look at your screen or device. Good, walk the right foot in just a little more to the midline. Press into the right foot and lift the left foot or the left leg rather, towards the sky. Good, now point the toes so you're lining up the Sorry, knees. I'm having trouble hearing you. <laughs> Good, lift the leg back to the sky, and then towards the front of your mat or space. Again. Siri just thought I was talking to her. Good, let's do one more time. Good, lower the foot. And then exhale, lower the hips back to the mat. Good, big inhale here. Exhale, let it go as we set up for the other side. <coughs> Excuse me, walk the left, or sorry, rock the heels in towards the seat rather. Press into the heels, lift the hips. Now walk the left foot a little closer towards the midline of your mat, and then we'll lift the right leg towards the sky. Good, still keeping those hips nice and lifted. Good, point the toes to the front, lining up the knees. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. One more time, inhale, exhale, lower the foot, and then lower the hips back to the mat. Good, windshield wiper the knees from side to side. Good, we're gonna take one more back bend here. Um, options here for either bridge pose or if you'd like to take wheel and that's in your practice today, you're welcome to go there. So either way, for either pose, you're walking your heels in towards your seat. If you're taking bridge pose, tucking the shoulder blades under, press into the heels and lift the hips, just like we've done in the past. If you would like to take wheel, you can take the hands Bring them under the shoulders so that the fingertips are pointing in towards the, your feet. Good, lifting through the chest. Maybe come up onto the balls of the feet. That helps give me some space. Keep breathing. And whenever you're ready to come out of it, slowly exiting the same way that you got into it. Good, windshield wiper, those knees from side to side. And then let's take a counter pose here and take one knee to the chest, followed by the other. Wrap the arms around the legs. You can keep your head lifted if you like. And just rock from side to side. Beautiful. Good, let's open up those hips just a little bit more as we are winding down our practice. Let's take pigeon on our back. So cross the right ankle over the left leg. Good, and then let's reach through the cross of the legs and grab on behind the left leg, 
pulling the legs towards the chest. If this isn't enough for you, you can always take the hands to the top of that left calf. I find that I get a little bit of a deeper stretch uh, when I do that. But if it hurts in any way, just back off. Good, breathe into the stretch. Just notice what you're feeling, notice any soreness. See if you can send the breath to those areas. I often feel this stretch not only in my hips, but I feel it in my hamstrings too. Like specifically, I'm feeling it in my right hamstring right now. I've been running a little bit more than usual, so I'm noticing how tight my hamstrings are getting. Good. Let's go ahead and uncross the legs and set up for the other side. Crossing the left ankle over the right leg. Good. Then reaching through the cross of the legs, grabbing on either behind the right thigh or on top of that left calf. Ooh, noticing this side is much sore than the other side. It's a wonderful thing about our bodies. We're never equally balanced. One side always feels different than the other. Good, again, breathe into the stretch. Use the breath to lengthen and soften, maybe even deepen the stretch. Good, exhale. Let's release that right foot back to the mat. Uncross the legs. Let's take a twist here. Shift the hips over to the right side of your mat. Cross the right leg over the left. Let the knees fall to the left side. And then you can take the arms wide or you can cactus them. So do what feels good for you. Good. Gaze can go in opposite direction here. Not trying to crank the neck, but just find a soft stretch. Good. Inhale. Let's come back through center. Uncross the legs. Shift the hips to the left side of the mat this time. Cross the left over the right. Good. And then take the gaze towards the left side. Next, inhale. Let's come out of the twist, unwinding here, shifting the hips back to center. We'll take happy baby as one of our final shapes here before we make our way into our final resting pose. So placing the hands on the tops of the feet. I like to take my hands to the outside edges and rocking a little bit from side to side. And I invite you to stay just for the five minutes of our Shavasana. It's only five minutes out of your day, and it really can be such a useful tool to center your mind and just have some peace and quiet. So let's make our way there when you're ready. Taking up space on your mat, whatever shape feels best to you. Let the heels, the feet just fall open naturally and just feel yourself sinking deeper into the mat. Feeling light as if you're almost floating, not attaching to any thoughts, but not judging yourself if you do. Try to focus on your breath, each inhale, each exhale.
when you're ready and take your time you're welcome to stay right here but if you are ready we'll start to bring some awareness back into the body slowly wiggling fingers and toes rolling wrists and ankles in one direction and then the other and taking a full body stretch reaching arms overhead toes and fingertips in opposite directions nice deep stretch as you arch the belly towards the ceiling or sky good and then we'll go ahead and bend the knees taking the feet in towards the seat and rolling over to your side of choice good resting there for a moment resting your head in your arm I invite you to keep your eyes closed. Good. And then when you're ready, using your hands, the strength of your upper body to push yourself up to a comfortable seated position. Good. Sitting up tall to the spine. Take your hands and rest them in your lap, either palms up or palms down whatever feels best to you. And I invite you to still keep the eyes closed. I'm just gonna share a little uh, reading from the Book of Awakening. And it says, stop talking, stop thinking, and there is nothing you will not understand. Like most people I know, I struggle with talking too much, with doing too many things, with moving too fast, with over committing, with over planning. I've learned that I must move quite simply at the pace of what is real. While this pace may vary, life always seems vacant and diminished when I accelerate beyond my capacity to feel what is before me. It seems we run our lives like trains, speeding along a track laid down by others, going so fast, what we pass blurs on by. When we say we've been there, done that, the truth is that blurring by something is not the same as experiencing it. So no matter how many wonderful opportunities come my way, no matter the importance placed on these things by others who have, met, who have my best interests at heart, I must somehow find a way to slow down the train that is me until what I pass by is again seeable, touchable, feelable. Otherwise, I will pass by everything can put it all on my resume, but will have experienced and live through nothing. So my invitation to you today is to have awareness, to notice, to experience, and not at a fast place so that everything blurs by, but that so you can truly live it. Let's bring our thumbs to touch at forehead center. Big inhale here, and then exhale, bow forward. I thank you for practicing with me today. The light and love in me honors the light and love in each of you. Namaste. Thank you, everybody.